welcome back to another video and today I've got a very exciting announcement and video for you. If you follow me on Instagram you might already have seen some bits and bobs behind the scenes about this project but I'm actually launching a collaboration with Craftamo with my very own set of paintbrushes. You might have also seen a live stream that I did over here on YouTube a few months back where I was actually designing the packaging for this. Um, I was painting it live. So I'll link the live stream down there if you'd like to rewatch it, it is still up. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to show you guys how beautiful this set is and just talk about the paintbrushes. And I'm gonna also be doing a demo with them in this video, painting a whole piece with these paintbrushes. And the product will be going live this weekend. So uh, if you wanna be notified for when it goes live, uh, make sure to click the link down there or on screen right now to have a look at it. Maybe pop in your email to get notified when it goes live. I'm very, very excited. I think that you guys will love these. I designed these paintbrushes with you guys in mind and basically the kind of paintbrushes that I love to use and things that I really enjoy in, in my own paintbrushes. So I'm really hoping you guys will like them as well. So yeah, let's just get into the painting demo because I'll talk more about the paintbrushes over there. Let's go paint. <laughs> so as I said, I'm gonna be using my Piper's Art Craft Ammo collab paintbrushes. And of course I had to give you guys a bit of an unboxing first of the set. I am so delighted with how these came out. I'm absolutely over the moon. I'm really happy how the colors of the paintbrushes matches the aesthetic of the packaging so well. I use a lot of like these different purples and pastel pinks and things like that. And also really cool that I got to like have purple ombre brush hairs so yeah i'm gonna be using only my paintbrushes with my dr ph martin's bombay india inks for this painting i actually asked you guys on instagram which drawing i should paint in this video because i was between this one and another one but you guys voted for this one so that's the one i'm going to be painting in this video I started off with adding some masking fluid to some of these stars at the top before going in with my inks. And I started with the number 10 filbert brush. It's a really like cool, it's, it's like a rounded flat brush really, um, but I really enjoy doing this for flat washes and like basically filling in large areas. I'm a really big fan of this shape and size brush. It's what I use for the first like 50% of the painting really, or first 30% of the painting, just to get all these like big, nice base washes in. And while I'm doing that, I thought I'd give you guys some cool little stats about this paintbrush set. So this set of paintbrushes retails for 50 pounds, which I think is such a steal for the quality that Craftamo provides with their paintbrushes. I'm a huge, huge fan of their paintbrushes. They're absolutely amazing. So there are 100% cruelty-free brush hairs, which provide the perfect amount of control that I really enjoy in their paintbrushes. It's just the perfect amount of control and flexibility. And combining this with the recycled rose gold brass ferrules and purple and pink colored handles, these paintbrushes have basically resulted in a really stunning brush set. I'm just so excited because the performance of these is just as amazing as how they came out. I'm really, really excited for you guys to get your hands on these and actually try them for yourself. So the pack itself, it comes with seven brushes, as you probably saw. It comes with a filbert size 10 brush four round paintbrushes in sizes nine, four, one, and zero, and a flat brush in a size seven and three. As you can see, I included a lot of little tiny detailed paintbrush sizes because I really love detailed paintbrushes. They're, to me, one of my favorite parts of painting is doing the tiny little details. And I think it's so important to have a reliable, tiny detailed paintbrush. And these honestly are like my new favorite yeah, as I mentioned, all of these paintbrushes are cruelty free. The brush hairs are cream and purple Taclon brush hair. And as I said, also the ferrule is made of recycled rose gold brass. And as you also saw, the handles have this beautiful purple and pink matte finish uh, with my logo on them, which is really cool. 
again, the link is down there in the description of the video if you guys would like to read up more on the background of these paintbrushes and read a bit more about Craft Ammo themselves, and also to get notified when the paintbrushes go live so you can have first grabs of the set. There will be a limited supply for the first round of the paintbrushes, so definitely get one if you can in the first round, because obviously a second badge is never guaranteed. But yeah, uh, just, just wanting to let you know that they are limited supply. And yeah, that's pretty much the, uh, the stats on the brushes and the actual set itself. The set comes with like a little print card as you saw when I was unboxing that has the care instructions for the paintbrushes on the back but it also doubles as a cute little print that you can hang up on your wall if you like because it's got the illustration that I did for the box on the other side. Speaking of the illustration, you guys might remember when I did the live stream of me painting the box art for this set. It was a few months ago. As I said, I've been working on this project for almost a year I think and yeah at the time I actually did paint the entire box art uh, illustration with the prototypes of the paintbrushes it's, it was a bit meta where I like painted the box art with the paintbrushes inside but at the time when I was doing the live stream I um, wasn't t saying too much about the paintbrushes because I wanted to be a bit hush hush still but yeah, again, I'll link the live stream down there if you want to rewatch it. It's um, available to watch back on YouTube and it's a good hang. So for this painting, as I said, I'm using white colored inks and I used my filbert brush and uh, my bigger size round brushes to do the flat washes for all of the different elements. So like her skin and her hair. And I managed to make this really pretty, like almost space looking patchy background with like purples and blues and indigos. And I think it ended up looking really nice and dreamy like I wanted it. Once all these base layers were dry, I went back in with some of my medium sized round brushes. So my size four and sometimes one and started adding in some more details like the shading and blocking in some of the harsher shadows and adding in tinier details like I'm doing here with her eyebrows and her eyes. And these paintbrushes are so lovely. Like the hairs at the end, ne like never once split or anything like you know what I mean when uh, you're using a tiny paintbrush and you go in and it like the, the hair is kind of split and it doesn't create the precision that you're expecting with these it is it's just never even a possibility it must be something with the way that craft ammo produces their paintbrushes obviously it is but <laughs> and the quality of the uh, the hairs that they use for the brushes but they just are so amazing to work with and so comfortable to to apply paint with. I got a lot of questions actually on my launch announcement post on Instagram last week of people asking me what mediums you can use with these paintbrushes and honestly you can use whatever you want with these. I am not of the uh, school of thought that you should have different paintbrushes for different mediums. Like I don't think paintbrushes will affect the way that a medium performs. I think that's down to the material itself, the, the medium itself. So honestly, I'll say that there are for all mediums. I have used these with watercolors. I have used these with inks. I've used these with gouache. I've used them with acrylics and they perform just as beautifully with every single one of those mediums. That's, that's my reply to like that frequently asked question that I've gotten over the past week. Just use whatever you like on them. I just wanted to make a nice, well-rounded set of paintbrushes that you can have that will carry you through an entire illustration. That was the reasoning behind why I picked these specific paintbrush stats and sizes and shapes, because these are like my go-tos when I'm painting. So I like having a bigger filbert brush for backgrounds and flat washes and things like that. But I, I like having different sizes and shapes for different stages of the illustration, obviously. So I, this is basically this, my dream set, if I may be so self-indulgent, really. It's mainly, that's how I 
constructed this set and I think that you guys will really enjoy it as well. It, it's got like all the paintbrushes that you really would need for doing paintings of this size, obviously. I know that some people paint on really big canvases, but I usually tend to work more on A4 sizes. So that's kind of why I chose this particular set of paintbrushes. But I think it is a really good set, if, especially if you're someone who's getting into painting and you don't know what brushes to get and what different brushes do. I think this set has like just a, uh, a perfect beginner's selection of paintbrushes that will help you through, you know, creating artwork. And as you can see here, I was using another one of my smaller round brushes to go in with, into the hair and adding all these like loose hair strands and creating this really magical like wispy feel to the hair. You guys know that I love to render hair for some reason. <laughs> so obviously having a nice detailed paintbrush is very important in that specific department. A nice detail paintbrush that is reliable that I know is gonna like work for me. Here you can see I'm using my number one round paintbrush to do the teeny tiny little details of her eyelashes. It's this paintbrush is so perfect for this. It's just so so detailed so tiny and small and I was just using this to do the teensiest, tiniest little details. I have a brush that's even smaller than this, which is the Zero, which is what I'm using right now, as you can see. So that one's even smaller, and that's the Zero-sized round paintbrush, and that's the one that I really get into the nitty-gritty with. So <laughs> doing the bottom lashes and doing those flyaways um, on her hair, doing line art as well, when I need to like go over some outlines and do a really tiny little amount of line art, that's the paintbrush that I will reach for. So yeah, as you can see, I'm using that tiny little paintbrush to add in the highest contrast parts of the painting. So the really deep shadows, the really like black points in the face and any line art doing some more details on her eyebrows and adding some more identifiable hairs, I guess. And just basically adding in little details to the face to make it look really finished. And then I will usually go for the round number one paintbrush to add in like the really big like pops of highlights. So I'll go in with my white ink, which is super opaque. And that's what I'll do. Like the really pops of highlight and light reflections on her eyes and her lips, etc. And I'm using the number one for that just to get some amount of detail, but still creating like nice little blobs of, of highlights. And actually at this point, I was pretty happy with the face rendering. I was just feeling really proud of how it came out. And I decided to pick up one of my detailed paintbrushes again and just do sort of the same, but with her hair. So I used number one and number zero round paintbrushes to add highlights and shadows to like individual strands and locks of her hair. And this is where you really like can see them in action and you can see them shine because the flexibility on these paintbrushes is really like what astounded me when I when I even first got the uh, the first prototype of the paintbrush set I was like these are really really good credit to Craft Ammo for the way that they produce paintbrushes but I I was quite blown away they're they're really flexible but really stable it's honestly really really a dream to paint with these as you can see, I, I went through all the hair, adding highlights to different locks and curls. And then I did pretty much the same thing, but with the shadows. So adding in all of the deep, darkest shadows in the hair and creating this contrast in the hair to accentuate the different locks. Because up until now, it just had this flat wash that made her hair look like a flat blob, really. So now we're, you know, rendering the entire 
hair and all of her little hair strands and hair locks with these two little paintbrushes, basically. <laughs> And once I was happy with the hair as well, it had a nice amount of contrast that I was happy with, I went in with my flat brush in um, a size seven to add in a bunch of kind of loose rendering on her cardigan. I didn't want the cardigan or her clothing and stuff to be too rendered because I didn't want it to distract from the center of the illustration, which is like her face and her background and stuff. So I just wanted to add in like a hint of clothing folds and some shadows to indicate sort of the direction that the fabric is going in, but not going too ham with the rendering on the cardigan. And this is like where I really like to use this kind of flat brush is doing like big blocks of color and really putting down more painterly strokes. Um, it's not exactly how I usually paint. It's not like my usual style but it is a really nice way to quickly put down color and actually allowing me to be a little bit more free with painting um, and not being so precious sometimes. You can kind of see how it ended up looking sort of more patchy and painterly. And after I went back in and added some, again, line art with one of my tiny detail paintbrushes, I used my number one and zero round brush to go into those little stars that we put masking fluid on at the beginning and I went back into those with some white ink to really really make them pop. Honestly because I used so much water in doing the background just to make this really nice wash of mixed colors it kind of <laughs> bled through underneath the masking fluid. So the masking fluid didn't really do much, as you can see here. <laughs> um, so that's why I'm going over them with the white ink. But I probably would have done so anyways, just because this white ink is so opaque in just one coat that I would probably have done the same just to make the stars really crisp and sharp. So... I'm just adding a coat of white ink to all of them to make them really bright like stars should be. And as I mentioned before, this is like one of my favorite parts of painting is adding in these tiny little details that really just make the painting look so finished and they're just such a joy to do. I, I find these parts really therapeutic. While I had the white paint out and the detail paintbrush, I signed my name really tiny in the corner. These paintbrushes are awesome for signing my name because um, I always find it really hard to sign my name really tiny on already sort of tiny paintings. And then I removed the masking tape and the washi tape that I had on the painting. And I actually wanted to do a little bit of cross hatching with some colored pencils especially on the background, because I wanted to add a little bit more texture back into the painting. I really enjoy the texture that it has right now, and I really, really like the rendering that I did on the face, so I didn't really touch the face much, but I've been really, really enjoying using colored pencils, and you guys know that I really love to mix media all the time. So I just really wanted to add a little bit more something something to the background so i picked out a few colors that sort of matched the color palette uh, of the background and added some little bits of cross hatching some some blues i even went in with some baby pinks at times and uh, i think it really made the background look super cool and made it pop even more and just made it a bit more interesting you know And then I also did some outlines on the little stars to make them pop even more. So I did a little bit of a outline with a dark purple and it made them look like really graphic and really just popped more from the background. I feel like they were being swallowed a little bit because of all the different patches from the ink wash. So this way they really just stick out.
And then I also went into her cardigan with like a purple lavender color to kind of add a little bit more texture to it as well, just to make it look like a knitted cardigan. Um, cause it was just obviously cause I put down some colors real, really quick on it. It just looked a bit flat. Again, all the materials that I'm using and have used in today's video will be in the description box and probably on screen as well. So if you have any questions about what I'm using, make sure to check the, the description box for the links as well. And uh, you'll probably find them there. Now that we're nearing the end of the painting, I just wanted to say a last really big thank you to Craft Ammo for this really sick opportunity. Like I never once thought that I'd have the opportunity to make my own set of paintbrushes. Like that is crazy. And I'm feeling very, very happy and grateful. I'm very excited for you guys to be able to actually buy them and use them yourselves. I feel like I've been working on this project for so long that I kind of forgot that you guys would be able to even like buy them and use them by the end of it. It, it was just, it's just wild. So Thank you so much. If you do end up buying some, I really hope you enjoy them. I'm sure most of you will, because I created this paintbrush set with you guys in mind. Just thank you, and thank Craft Ammo, and yeah, just really, really feeling grateful. And here is the final piece from today's painting. Really, really love how it came out. Might turn it into a print, to be honest, because I just love the color so much. Yeah. All done with my seven handy paintbrushes. I really hope you guys enjoyed this process and uh, back to um, Studio Piper, I guess. Thank you again so much to Craft Ammo for this really, really fun opportunity. I am so, so excited for you guys to get your hands on these paintbrushes. I think they're gonna be such a good asset for some of you and even a really great like Christmas gift if you're thinking of what to get someone who likes art. <laughs> again, make sure to click the link and go have a look at the paintbrushes when they go live. I've been working on these for like so long now and I'm really, really happy that they're finally <laughs> launching. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz, and leave a comment down there if you guys will be getting a set yourselves. I think that's all. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your days and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.